Hi, I'm Steph and I am out here at Solitude Mountain skiing. Today I wanted to share with you some gear that you need to go skiing. So I'm a Florida girl. I had not ever skied until I was in my 20s and I just really wanted to go, but I had to kind of learn what, what do you need? This is my ski, ski gear laid out. This is actually my base layer. Um, so this is just a thin layer that um, keeps me from like overheating and it like wicks sweat and all that. And this is the top base layer. And then these are my ski pants and these are obviously waterproof. And um, then this is a belt that I actually just got to go with these because um, I had a belt before, but it was like annoying to put on. And then these are my ski socks. So these are nice because they're tall and there's some padding right here. And that's where the boot hits you. So I have four pairs of ski socks and they're smart wool. So they wick moisture as well. And this is my inner jacket. Um, this one has some like reflective stuff that's supposed to keep me even warmer. And then this is my outer layer and this is fully waterproof and it has a bunch of pockets. Base layer and socks on. Pants and new belt on. Mid-weight jacket on. Got all my gear on. Yes, it's hot. <laughs> so one thing about the ski pants I wanted to show you was um, on here, they are fully waterproof, but on here, there's also the zipper and this will help you, um, if it's hot outside, you can open this and kind of air out. So, um, look for that in your pants. If you have that kind of zipper also on my jacket, there is that zipper. So there you go. You know, if you need to air some stuff out, you can do that. But I also want to show you on the pants down here, there is this inner liner. And this actually goes on top of your ski boot to help keep um, snow and stuff out. And then this just goes right over on top of that. And uh, this is wide because it's meant to cover your boot. And there's a little extra protection here in case there's rubbing. So you really do need some kind of snow boots when you are not skiing, but walking around in the snow. So some kind of boot that is waterproof is definitely a must when you're skiing. So when you ski, you definitely need some kind of gloves. So these are the ones that I'm using and I'm actually using mittens because when I was in skiing in Maine, um, it was painfully cold and my hands were like freezing even, even though I was wearing gloves and I was wearing like uh, fingered gloves. But my uh, teacher told me that mittens are the best to have because all your fingers are together so that your fingers will, warmth will help them stay warmer. And also leather is the best material because um, the wind can't go through it. So there's some leather on here. But the reason I got these mittens is because they also break apart with a magnet and then you can get your fingers out. So I'll kind of show you how that works. So these are new mittens for me this year. And um, so basically you kind of put them on <laughs> um, and then it is a little challenging to open this area. So I wish there was like a little flap to pull it, but you kind of pull it here and then your fingers are there. And then this is a, um, a finger that you can use for technology. So then I have access to my fingers, but then when I'm done, I have mittens. So these have been really great for skiing. Um, I am probably going to keep them. I can actually return them if I don't love them because I got them from REI. And this is my helmet right here. Um, this is great for safety, but it also keeps your head warm. It has nice um, padding right here and just great for warmth. So highly recommend a helmet for many reasons. It also has, these will close off, but if it's um, warmer, you can open up these vents here on the side. So let vent in, but it's been cold. So I'm going to do that. This is just a mount for my camera. You won't normally have that, but then these are my goggles. They actually have a little goggle holder right here on the back for holding the strap. And then this is just a cover for my goggles. This will protect them from snow and um, from getting foggy. So my goggles just kind of hang out on my helmet until I'm ready to use them. And these are just some standard goggles. I got some that were just polarized so that they're good in pretty pretty much most conditions. There's a ton of different goggles you can get, but these were just a good kind of entry level. I may need to get new ones for next year because the foam is getting a little, um, a little smushed in, a little padded um, from the years, but they're, uh, they're a decent pair and they go well with this helmet. And then also this is just, uh, this is something I got this season that I used once so far. Not sure how much I like it, but this is a neck gaiter. And so this is something when it's really cold, I can put it over my nose to protect all my skin. And it has this like reflective stuff to make me even warmer. 
And this is my ski bag. This is my first season using this and I have to say I love it. This is made by Osprey and they, this is specific for skiing. So what's nice about this is it has a nice strong back um, and everything is waterproof um, and you know, won't get, you know, if it's cold, it, it'll be fine. And it has two places to secure it. So a chest strap here and then um, a waist strap here. And this one has a water hydration pack with it, in, which is in this first zipper. Okay, so I'm going to open it up here. And there is just a little hook in here that I'm going to undo. And then take out, there's a little handle here. This actually just pulls off. And then right here is where you fill in water. And then you just close it up. And the water here is very good. It is fresh uh, mountain water. So the tap water is very tasty. Tastes like nothing, which is my favorite kind of water. And then I will put it in this little area. And this tube is great because it's insulated. So even when it's uh, freezing outside, it's not gonna freeze the water as it comes out. And then it also has another zipper where you can put more items. So this is nice because I've been putting my camera and wallet and things like that. Um, I also just put my neck gaiter in there and some um, extra batteries for my camera. And then right here is an awesome pocket. This is actually a pocket for ski goggles, but since I keep them on, on my helmet, I don't really need that. So it's just a quick stasher pocket. I keep my snacks because I always take snacks on the mountain in case I get hungry. And I will say I don't even notice I'm wearing it when I'm on the mountain, which is awesome. And uh, so it doesn't really add any weight at all. And I'm already like have a ton of gear on, so this doesn't really add anything. Highly recommend having this, and water on the mountain is really hard to remember to drink, and so having it right on my shoulder has been great. So this is just a quick look at a couple other items. Um, this is the sunscreen I use. Definitely you wanna use sunscreen because the sun reflects on the snow and then it gets in your face, so super important. Uh, this is the lip moisturizer protection that I use. This works really well. I have it in my, I have it with me also when I'm skiing. This is a face moisturizer that I use um, at, in the morning and at night to keep my skin moisturized, my face, because it really dries out. This is for my hands, and this is another kind of lotion that I use as well. So just making sure I can keep moisture in my hands. They were really dry yesterday, but they're looking pretty good today. Um, and then lastly, Advil is super important. Um, we've been taking Advil fairly regularly because it helps with altitude sickness and any kind of pains and things like that. So we've been taking that, not like every four hours or anything, but um, that is definitely a must when you're in like high altitudes, especially for us. One of our favorite things that we found when we went to uh, Steamboat Springs actually, was they have, they sell these, uh, these are like little microfiber cloths, but they have the map of the place that you're skiing on. And so these are, uh, this is the brand right here. And you can find these at most resorts. And so, um, you know, we bought it at Steamboat and then Sugarloaf and now Solitude. So now we have kind of a collection going on. But these are really great because you can use them to clean off your goggles um, when they get like foggy or have snow on them. And then also like a paper map is gonna get wet in the snow. So this is great to be able to kind of see the trails and where you're going. So along with my ski gear, I also have clothes to wear after I ski because the ski gear is very specific for seeing, but I actually got these pants from REI and these are water resistant. So it's nice to wear these in like walk around the snowy conditions, but not when I'm skiing. Um, and I do wear a base layer underneath, so uh, it keeps me warm. So these have been nice. They're better than jeans. That's what I would wear in the past. And then I just brought like a little jacket to wear in the room. So this is like my room jacket. Um, and then I also brought some slippers to wear in the room, which are very comfortable. And I'm really glad I brought these, but these are just basically, you know, for the room. And I also brought a hat to wear outside when I don't have my ski gear on. And then I brought another pair of, uh, these pants are just kind of like room pants. And this is, um, we're doing yoga before and after um, we ski. So these are what I'm wearing when I do yoga and just like comfy pants. So definitely don't forget to bring stuff for after you ski. 
Um, so I hope this was a little informative if you are thinking about skiing, kind of getting an idea of the kind of gear you might need. Um, and there are, you can also rent gear. I've never looked into renting like ac actual jackets and things like that. I've only rented skis and boots and things like that, but, um, there's, there's a whole lot of options and there's also a lot of used things you can get. Um, but thanks for joining and I hope you have a great day.